Artie Ho, and welcome back. Continuing on. We got some... Shit that is shitty. And maybe a few bitches that are bitchy. That's a lot of blood. Jensen! Oh, Christ! Brent Radford? In the flesh. For now. How do you know my name? What happened here? Answers for favors. There's a... A trauma kit I keep somewhere around here. Find it. You need a doctor. I'll get help. No. No time. The, they could be back any minute. Find the kit quickly if you want answers. I'll be back. Okay. Trauma kit. Bingo. Did you find the kit? Oh, sweet Jesus. The pain. Morphine. This should help with the pain. Now tell me what's going on. Those sons of bitches. I should have seen it coming. I knew from the moment Saraf got spooked that, that this case would come back and bite me in the ass. Saraf. So you're the investigator he hired to run a background check on me? Detective. Or I was, until... Christ, fuck it. It hurts enough just trying to breathe. Point is, the goons that did this to me, professionals. I think your boss pissed off the wrong people, trying to dig up your dirt. What people? What did you find? No time to, to go into details. My storage unit, the sons of bitches, they're headed there now. Saraf had me uncover a ton of shit on you. Stuff even you don't you don't know. Your parents, your your real parents. The tests, the fire. What are you, Jensen? Some kind of freak? Focus, Radford. I put it all. I mothballed the case in storage. It's in an alley. Behind the bank. Your files are there. But Michelle knows. Michelle knows more. You need to stop. You need to stop them. Fuck. You, robot. This, this is all your fault. Give me, give me another shot. Morphine. Or go fuck yourself. Focus, Radford. Ah, that hit the spot. I think I could get used to this stuff. Hey, I'm feeling a little more talkative. Already, robot. You mentioned someone named Michelle. Who's Michelle? <laughs> Your guardian angel. Who is she? Tell me. Do robots believe... Do robots even believe in angels? Or did they take that out of you? Did they take that away? You know, your soul. When they built you. <laughs> Tell me. What was it like? When you died, Jensen? I know you're in a lot of pain. And the morphine is... Just find her. Before they do. You... You owe her that much. Who did this to you? Guys... In suits, one of them, David or Daniel, something like that, British accent, he was in charge. Talked about a Mr. Mr. Gray. They were in a, a hurry, four of them. 
Not counting the one they left behind. Well-armed, disciplined. I, I didn't stand a chance. Maybe that metal corpse you call a body will do better than mine did. What were they looking for? You, robot. They wanted my information on you. Someone powerful has their eyes on you and is very interested in your past. All right. I'm leaving, but I'll call in an ambulance. You'll be okay. No. Those fucking animals. I... I can't move anything. I was turning around, pulling my gun when... when the first bullet hit me. The second one. They... they fucking... Pa paralyzed me. I'm sure it's not as bad as you think. It might be a reaction to the morphine. I know what morphine does. I also know what a 9 millimeter round fired at less than 10 meters does to the thoracic vertebrae on impact. You need a doctor. They can fix that. I ain't turning into no freak. Even if I could afford the surgery, the augments, I'd rather die than be half a machine. And I sure as hell ain't gonna live the rest of my life in a wheelchair, shitting in a goddamn diaper. Radford. Listen. I know there's still a few more morphine shots. Another two should should do the trick. Please, this is as close as I'm gonna get to begging you. Don't leave me like this. You owe me that much. Well. Why do you hate augmentation so much? Because it ain't right. You can't. You can't go changing the way things are. You can't replace the real thing with an, an imitation. It ain't right. It ain't natural. It can save your life. No, you lose more than what gets left behind on the chopping block. You should know this by now. I understand. But technology, it's different now. It can help you. You could still live a normal life. A normal life? What would you know about a, a normal life? Did technology really help you, Jensen? I think... I think it made you a monster. Saraf didn't give you your life back. He just made you better at taking it away from others. Motherfucker, I have only killed... two people in this entire playthrough. I am half tempted on refusing, but unlike you, I'm not a dick. I'll go with your wishes. Is this what you really want? Does a bear pope in the woods? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I fucked that one up. Listen, robot. If I could do it myself, I would. I got no family left. No one left to mourn. It's for the best. I ain't gonna be no burden on society. Last chance, Brent. Just fucking do it. All right. It'll be quick. Rest I know. Peace. You, you did a good thing. Here. The ones that did this. I'll find them. Look at you. An iron g g giant with a heart of g g gold. B b b but don't do, do it f for me. D d do it f f for her. For m m m Michelle. You owe her here life. You're welcome. Well, it sounds like we gotta hurry. And that's not a door I can go out. Pritchard, I located Radford. He was attacked by men in suits. Private security, secret service types. 
I'm going after them. What about Radford? Did you get anything out of him? He didn't make it. There was nothing I could do. Right. I'll call it in. You have a new lead, at least? Yeah. I'm on my way there now. I'll contact you when I have more. Ugh. Of course he is. I know Mr. Da Mr. Gray is landing tonight. We're working on it, yeah. This is the lead, man. We try. The old man proved resilient. We left someone behind to watch him. If we need, we can go back, but I'm not sure how much more it can take. Be sleepy. We got a Praxis, so... Uh, what the fuck was I gonna put it in? Oh yeah. Five. Okay. I got plenty of nukes. Still fail to understand how the hell I'm supposed to get that. Access granted. Okay. Where are you wanting me to go? It's all the way up on the roofs of those apartments, it looks like. Knock knock, father muckers. What we got in here?
Access granted. Okay. Anything else? Little news rag. else in here. Nope, okay. Hey, uh, don't mind me. I'm just gonna block the door just to be on the safe side. Is that a gun? It's a stun gun. Did I leave my door open? Wait, you're not from Rolling Mills. You're too handsome to be from Rolling Mills. No, I'm not. Mrs. Michelle Walters, is it? My name's Adam Jensen. <laughs> no, no. You much too old to be him. You must be from Rolling Mills. And please, it's Miss Walters. Brent Radford sent me. Do you remember him? He's a detective. Yes, lovely gentleman. He still has my photos of Adam when he was a baby. Oh, could you be a dear and fetch them for me? I forgot who has them, though. Here you go. Are these the photographs? Oh, yes, yes. Thank you. I, I haven't seen Adam Jensen in such a long time. Forever, it seems. Such a happy baby. Miss Walters, can you tell me about the boy in those photos? The boy in those photos? Adam. Tragic, really, what happened to his parents. His real parents. His real parents? They died in that fire. Horrible, really. I was there. At least those other cribs were empty. I only had to save Adam. Mrs. Walters, I really need you to focus. What are you talking about? Why, I already told that nice detective all this already. About the experiments and the fire at White Helix Labs. We knew Adam was special. That's why his parents started the fire. So they didn't do the same thing to the next batch of babies. So my Adam's real parents were trying to protect him. But from what? Why, from the conspiracy, of course. But I've said too much. Would you be a dear now and go fetch my dinner? Miss Walters, please. I know it was a while ago, and remembering all the details might be hard. But do you think you can try and focus for a minute? What did you tell the detective? Well, Mr. Radford and I spoke about many, many things. Don't you have meals to deliver? And where is my dinner? Miss Walters, please. I know it was a... Thank you for your time. Oh, before I forget, if you see Adam, could you please give him this? It's for all the birthdays and Christmases I've missed. I've been saving them. I'll make sure he gets it. Thank you, dear. Why, he must be 12 or 13 by now. Make sure he gets something nice. Poor little old lady. Okay, so I'm guessing I'm gonna have to come back Pritchard. to that. I need you to assign a temporary security detail to an apartment on Brooklyn Court until I can figure out a more permanent solution. The woman's name is Walters. Michelle Walters. Security detail? What the hell, Jensen? 
Who is this woman? She's... family. But she's vulnerable. I'll explain later. Just do this for me, please. And not a word to Seraph. Can I trust you on this, Pritchard? Christ, Jensen. All right, all right. I'll do it. But there better be a damn good reason for this. There is. I'll fill you in next time I see you. But right now I need to get back to work. And Pritchard, thanks. Yeah, yeah. All right. Well, we'll continue this in next time. Cheers, y'all.